Hi, it's Marianne, the frugal chef. I hope you're doing really well today. This recipe comes from our friend Jose Hermosillo. Thank you, Jose. It is absolutely wonderful. We're gonna make some mashed potatoes with some pesto and some blue cheese. What a great, great recipe. This is awesome for, you know, this time of the year, holiday cooking, something different and very good. Let's make this. So I have four russet potatoes in this pan, uh, in this pot. It's the potatoes that you use for making uh, baked potatoes. Uh, use any potato that you know that is good for mashing if you don't have russets, okay? I peel them and I cut them into eights. And now I'm going to salt this water and I'm gonna let this boil, but not furiously, but, you know, kind of a low boil for probably 20 minutes until the potatoes are completely cooked and we can mash them. I transferred my cooked potatoes into a bowl. They're not, they are still nice and hot. I am going to put a little bit of the cooking liquid in here. Some butter. And I'm going to put cream in here. You can use milk if you want. going to taste it for salt. It's fine. So I lightly buttered this 9 by 13 pan. That's a 23 by 33 centimeters by the way. We're going to layer half of our potatoes here. We're now going to add a nice and generous, that's what he said, <laughs> amount of pesto. Now pesto will turn brown when you cook it. And this is why uh, Jose puts it in between the potatoes. I will give you a link at the bottom of the video in the description box where the recipe will be uh, to a video on how to make pesto. This is walnut pesto by the way. We're going to cover this with the rest of our potato. Okay, now we're going to sprinkle blue cheese on top. This is four ounces of cheese which is 113 grams. I am going to put this in an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176. Uh, centigrade and we're gonna let this be in there until the cheese is melted and browned and the, mm, and the potatoes are kind of bubbling <laughs> I'm gonna say probably about 20 minutes Wow huh <laughs> um, it was in the oven 20 minutes and then I turned on the broiler or the grill it's called also uh, in my oven and I supervised it very carefully and let it brown Oh, I'm going to say about five minutes. If you don't have a broiler, don't worry about it. Just leave it in the oven a little longer. It'll brown. Super hot. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm-mm-mm. Wow. Wow. There's so many flavors in here. Oh, my goodness. The walnuts and the basil. Mmm. That, that blue cheese. It goes amazing with this. I, I don't know, Jose, you're a genius. This is excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh my God. I hope you like this recipe. Thank you, Jose. I loved it. I will definitely be making this for Thanksgiving. Um, the recipe will be on the website, ready for you guys to come and print it if you want. Don't forget to sub, like, share, and comment. <laughs> and thank you for that. Um, you well without going broke, and I'm gonna see you guys soon.